Okay, so we're just going to give a little demo of how to do a process map. As you just saw in the previous slide, the first two steps are determine the symbols to be used in the process and then chart the process. So as you see right here, these are the symbols that we're going to be using in the process. Now we'll go ahead and start a simple process making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So we'll start up here with our start symbol. And we're going to add in a little connector right here. And you'll see why we're going to add that in here in just a moment. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we've got a process. And the customer is going to order a sandwich. So customer orders, going a little out of the lines there, a sandwich. Okay, from that point, what we're going to do is the customer is going to give that order to an employee and the employee is going to review the order. So that goes through another process and the employee review order. From this point, the employee is going to make a decision. So if you'll remember, our decision is right here. And the employee is basically going to say, is that is the order complete or is it not? So what we can do is we can just put the words complete inside the box. If the order is not complete, we could draw it over here that goes back. And that's where we, we, uh, we break in the connector. And that basically is just saying that it's going to go back to this order. So this is no. If yes, then we're going to go ahead and make the sandwich. So we're going to come down here. We're going to process make sandwich. I'm just going to put SW to be short. After making the sandwich, we're going to move into another process of the employee delivering the sandwich. I'm going to shorten some words just for time. So employee delivers the sandwich to the customer. After this point, we're going to make a decision or we're going to let the customer make a decision. So once again, we have our triangle for decision. And this is going to be if the customer is satisfied with our sandwich. Forgive me for going out of the lines. So customer satisfied, question mark. So there's going to be two different outcomes out there, yes or a no. If no, we're going to go out this way. We're going to have another decision asking, does the customer want a new sandwich? So we want a new SW. All right, so if they do want a new sandwich, that's going to be yes right here. We're going to bring it up to this connector and they're going to go through the whole process of ordering it and down to that point again. All right, so we have two decisions that we still need to be decided. So right here, is the customer satisfied? No, we have it going up there. If yes, we're going to go right here. Customer satisfied, awesome, they ate. Now they're going to pay. Customer pays. Now also we have over here, um, the customer is not satisfied, they want a new sandwich. Yes, goes up there. If not, maybe they're at a, they're a time limit and they don't want a new sandwich, but they're still going to have to pay. So that's going to go over here. And this is, sorry, this is no. And then the last step, is just print the receipt. And that is in the final circle. And that's a simple process map for you.